It's time once again for TCU baseball as the Horn Frogs get set to take on the California Golden Bears here at Lupton Stadium. Proponents of their routines. Drill towards left center fields. Philip Sykes on the run won't get to it as it one hops the fence. And that'll be a double for McAvoy. We're just continuing to get at bats and see live game repetitions. Goes all the way back to the backstop. And that'll let the runner advance. Well, now Ray in an unlikely position. Tommy Sacco makes the play behind the bag and throws out the runner, but the run will score to make it one nothing Cal. California, not really a team that runs all that much as nine of 11. And really two guys doing all the running. Swing and a miss, and the ball went all the way back to the backstop. Payoff. It's down low, ball four. You know, I may consider taking a few pitches and make him show me something. Keyshawn Ogans hits his back up the middle base hit. Coming on hard as Sykes. Here's the throw to the plate. It's not in time. That's lined in the right field for a base hit. It'll score two as Wood comes up with it. Baker's going to try for two, and he is going to be cut down, trying to stretch it into a double. But both runs will score. Lined, right center field base hit. Wolf will go to third easily as Humphreys stops at first base. He's having a great start to this season. This ball's drilled to deep right center field. Going back as the right fielder Beavers. He looks up and it's caught by the center fielder McIlwain, who just cut in front of him at the last second. They make that adjustment to these pitches that Stoutenborough's getting him. <laughs> Wood rips it. Nice diving play by Holman, who gets up and throws him out. Hits it hard past the dive of Baker in the right field. Most experienced hitters. Line, fair ball. This one will go all the way into the corner. So back. Slow getting to it. Humphreys will coast into second base with a stand-up double. And TCU has runners in second and third. Nobody out. Ball four now forcing a run. They're going to say it hit him, I believe. So it's a hit batter, but it still forces in a run, and it's four to one. Ball four, he walks. That'll force in a run. That's an unbelievable at bat from Porter Brown. Sacco hits it on the ground to third, uh, to short. They go to second for one. Throw to first, not in time. As a run crosses the plate, Rogers makes it a 4-3 game. Curveball lined in the left. That's a base hit for Tommy Sacco. Look like a breaking ball he left up. Henry waiting. Swung and missed. That ball got away from the catcher, and Sacco's going to end up at second base. Another pitch in the dirt. This one gets away from the catcher. A good read by Sacco. These guys, but you really only need to just play pepper with it. This one's in the air to deep right center field. Going back is Flower. He's got room, makes the catch. Sacco tags. Sacco will score. We're tied at four. Bouncer. Shepard has it. They go to second for one. Throw to first. Double play. Now you hardly see it. Yeah, you don't see it much. I'm kind of a fan, though. I like it. This one's lined towards Wood in right field. Gene circles around, dives, and makes the catch. This ball's drilled to deep right center field. Flower looks up. It's gone! Connor Shepard with a solo home run has given the Frogs their first lead of the game. Ball absolutely crushed by Connor Shepard. He gets a fastball and he doesn't miss it. Let's see if he goes back to the four seam fastball. This one's hit in the air towards Gene Wood. Wood slipped, maintains his footing, makes the grab, and the ball game is over. TCU wins tonight by a final score of five to four. They fell behind four nothing, but Connor, they stayed with it. Battle back, got the big home run from Connor Shepard to win it in the bottom of the eighth.